Amen. Let us pray for the word. Dear God, our loving Father, we thank you so much for the journey you brought us through a great message for the last four months lost from within. And today, Lord, as we culminate this uh, great theme, we ask that, Father God Almighty, you speak to us, that your word will have a place in our lives. For this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Buona asifiwe. It's a great joy to see all of us and to see our children with us. Today we are coming to the, the end of our series because next Sunday is a Youth Sunday. So therefore we have a new theme for the Sunday. And then when we come to May, again we start a new theme for the coming quarter. And for the sake of the visitors, we have been walking through a journey uh, of uh, laws from within. And today we are looking at the theme of lost in abundance or lack. Lost in abundance or lack. The two texts that have been read to us talks about abundance and lack. The writer of this uh, Proverbs chapter 30 and verses 7 to 8 talks about the way at times someone may have a lot and may have abundance to a point that they get uh, filled with it. And indeed, uh, maybe this is why the Bible talks about it is, it is easier for, uh, for uh, a camion to enter through the needle of uh, an eye of a uh, uh, a needle's eye <laughs> than a rich person or someone with abundance to get into the kingdom of heaven. Meaning that what the, the writer is talking about here is the issue of being filled up with the abundance that we have in this life. Again, the same uh, uh, writer is talking about poverty or lack. And this uh, writer says that help me not become poor. Otherwise, I may profane your name by stealing and also dishonor your name. So the writer here addresses both, both, uh, both abundance and, and lack. And finally, he talks about give me my daily bread. And therefore, the second text that was read to us this morning is someone who came to, to Jesus Christ and Akamwambia, eh, my brother here, amekatana na shamba yangu, <laughs> or with my inheritance. And here the text talks about Jesus asking, asking this gentleman, am I the one who should be an arbiter to you? Am I a judge? However, Instead of uh, Jesus just letting that person go and fight over inheritance, he gives them a very good parable. What is this, uh, this parable about? That a man um, had a lot and great harvest. And in this uh, great harvest, he felt like he has done everything. He has received everything. He had, he had everything he needed in life. And this text that we have read talks about the way this man said to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. And he said, all I will do is to tear down my barns, build bigger ones, and then store my surplus of grain. He continued to say that then I will tell myself, you have plenty of grain laid for many years. Take life easy. Tell your neighbor, take life easy. Drink and be merry. And you know, in this text, what this man uh, is, all, is saying is that I have all I need. I don't need the help, help of anyone because I, I, I have abundance of food. Indeed, this text says, for many, many, this man had what we call food security. The challenge is not the bumper of harvest. Indeed, the challenge in this text is not recognizing God who is the giver of a harvest. At what time do you say Amen. Not recognizing that he needs to tell God, thank you that I have worked very hard. You've given me rains. You have grown uh, my, 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 my have great produce now. And today I am a great man with great things, but only coming from you, Lord God Almighty. And the Bible says he was told, you fool, tonight you will die. Did he eat anything? No. I want to come to us this, this morning saying that abundance or lack is not just about money. It's not just about food. Abundance of lack, all of us seated here have abundance of many things and also lack of many things. And there's a possibility that we may be lost in that abundance or in the lack. Even me, the preacher standing here, there are things I have in abundance and there are things that I lack in this life. And let me say this. There are many things that we have a lot and we have nothing. Our resources... Some, some of us are, 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 have many resources, others have mega resources. Others have intellect, 
There are people seated here who are very intelligent. Hallelujah. You know, sharp. They are able to grasp things very fast. And the others who are down, they go slowly, but they still get there. Buenas ve sana. There are people here with gifts and talents. And all of us have many, many talents. And we were learning the other day, we, uh, the purpose of a light book, we said that a human being has how many talents? 500 talents. Can you imagine? That's what we learned. So in you, there are many, many talents. But at times, we only take one or two, and we feel like we have no talents, while others have many. Many of us seated here and those watching us online have great capacity, and others have low capacity. Many of us here are in different marital status. Some of us are married, others are widowed, others are single parents, others are single, single. Single, single, you know, single, single. single. <laughs> That's what the, the young people say, single, single. And in those status, sometimes, you may be feeling like others are better who are married, others are better who have children, others are better who have someone they are dating with, and so we find ourselves in lack or in abundance. Listen to this text. The book of 1 Corinthians 7, 29 and 31. Just listen, don't open. What I mean, brothers and sisters, is that time is short. From now on, those who have wives, like me, should stay like they don't have. <laughs> Those who mourn as though they do not. Those who are happy as if they are not happy. Those who buy something as if they have, it was not theirs to keep. And those who have the things of the world as if not engrossed in them. For this world, in all in its present form, is... Exactly. Paul is telling the Corinthians... That those of us who are, have things in number dance should not stay like they have them. We should let them be because these things are passing. Even our intellect. At times you go to a cemetery and you see Dr. So-and-so, Professor So-and-so, uh, you know, Engineer So-and-so, you know, Pastor So-and-so. People who are buried with all their intellect but they are six feet under. Because everything in this world is passing away. Now, what this text means is that even when we go through challenges, because I've heard people you know, what want to kill and guinea and bow her and how Jaorewa, Nanikama and Nakanga and Nikama Willem to Jaorewa and Nikama and Nakataku, whatever. So Kata and Nakata, Nikukosa. So he mamba ya Tolo and Yorewa Kuringaringa, you know, women keep saying, you know, my husband, my husband, so what? Ka Kama Hauna, amen? <laughs> because you and your husband go to your home. You don't have to keep occupying discussions about my wife, my wife. And you see, I have never, you don't, you don't see me introducing my wife every other time. I've told you that's what we call PDA, public display of affection. It has no impact. <laughs> and many a times, that's why Paul is saying, if you have a husband, if you have a wife, ukae kama hau, usituringia huku huku. Huku mtu waneza kuodoka kuwaja hapo. Are we together? And if you are mourning, and many of us here are mourning, unajua katika dunia hii kuna watu wakulirisha wengine. Oh, economy, oh, economy. And you are doing very well. Kazi yanyu ni kuria hata kama... And I, sometimes I, I ask, ni I have done well. Because I, I always I hear, ni kubaya, ni kubaya. Then I hear, kuna wakati kulikuwa kuzuri. But wakati kulikuwa kuzuri, hau kusema. <laughs> Sani wanasema ni kuba? It is morning. So, please, mo, don't, don't stay in that morning mode. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Those of us who are buying things, please, as you buy, do not stay like you have. Those who are happy, see, you know, you know, I look at our celebs. Ati akinunua, akinunua uh, hao, lazima ilete kwa television, akisurprise bibi yake. Nonsense. <laughs> Watu wakona nyumba hapa na wanyamaza. <laughs> so wacha na hiyo maneno yako. Ati nimepromotiwa, nimepewa hii job. You know, and sometimes I wonder, why can't you stay like you, you don't have? Are we together? So that those who do not have, also don't feel threatened. Wasikaya ni kama wao, mugu wa sikiangi maombi yao. Even those of us who are social, socialites. Unasema, Mombasa tu wakuja. You know? Flying to, do, to Dubai. Now, do we really have to know that you are flying? Nyamaza. Are we together? That abundance does not necessarily have to be announced. Amen? You can do it quietly. Hallelujah. Even those who have things of this world, as you have them, usikae kama zime kuingia kwa roho, don't be engrossed. That is what Paul is saying. Now, members of this congregation, there are a number of things I want to encourage us to do in the process of not being lost in our abundance or in our... Number one, learn contentment. Tell your neighbor, learn contentment. The first text talks about 
that as long as I have bread on the table, I think I love this uh, right of the, this proverb. You know, I don't have to have a lot that I ask who is God. I don't have to have too little that I steal. All I want is bread on. I want my needs to be met. And my prayer for all of us, so that we are not lost in the, in the abundance or in lack, let us be contented with whatever it is that we have. Hallelujah. And I have quoted this verse many times on this pulpit. First Timothy 6.6 6. Godliness plus contentment is a great gain. It is suited in my language. Modo koyamore ragai. It's a very sweet verse. Contentment means at whatever level you are, whether you have, you have abundance, be contented. And not just abundance of money, even abundance of intellect. Hallelujah. Be contented. If you are like me, who is a middle, middle intellect. You know me, I'm an average student. Hallelujah. I'm not an A student, nor am I an E student. I'm not an E student. I be contented. Hallelujah. And those who are down here, be contented because God does not give all of us the same intellect. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Children, if you get 400 marks and someone is getting 200, it does not mean that this other one is dad ahead. No. This other one is gifted differently. And sometimes I get embarrassed when sometimes we get A's here in this school of ours and we invite those who got 400 and above and they are given money. Hallelujah. And my question is, what about the one who got 250? They tried. Didn't they try? You know, it's good to also do the two. Say, even this other one is still a human being. And I know our system of education, and I'm happy it's going away. Hello? <laughs> the 844 that says, and then the alliance is coming to an end. It's a many amen. Because we need to learn content. And contentment is not laziness, young children who are here. It doesn't mean that you don't work hard, but there are people, even if they work hard, all they can get is 300, and it's okay. Hello, children. It's okay. It's okay. You have done your best. And the others, even when they are just lazy, lazy they get 400, because in them, they have been blessed with a very high level of grasping things. They even ask him, Marisa, to show you the direction he is taking. Because they are sharp people. They get things like, you know, very fast. Number two, let us work on our greed and self-pity. Sometimes, whenever it is that we want everything in this world, we become greedy. Not just for money. Greed for talents. Greed for resources. Greed for being the other person. Sometimes even greed for having spouses. Anybody who snatches someone's wife, or husband is greedy. I'm just here. Where to Leah? Hallelujah. God will come and bring you someone. <laughs> and that greed, me as a man who is married here, Nadina Mukoroko, Wahiki. You know that is greed. <laughs> and I already am a married man. I have a wife at home and she's a very nice woman. Hallelujah. Mukoroko wa kununga nuganaku. Mukoroko. Nia nini. Ina hajagani. That's a greed you're talking about because you want to have abundance of women in this life. You want to have abundance of men. That abundance will kill you. Go back home and be contented. Hello? Even if your wife is bad or your husband is bad, by the way, you chose them. And when you are choosing them, to you are watching, you must uh, <laughs> you must <laughs> Receive the benefits and the consequences of your choices. Hallelujah. Vumiria huko. And some of us have self-pity. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mimi sina pesa. Mimi huko este ndiyo ni kwa nyubaka dogo. Mimi ndiyo ni kwa nagari kidogo. Mimi ndiyo ni kwa nakazi kidogo. Hii mambo ya kujuhurumia. Unahurumia, unajihurumia, uhurumia na nani? Ya, 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 ya. The fact that you did not get 400, don't worry. Say I got 300, hallelujah, and I'll go to that university when that time comes. And many of us keep uh, pitying ourselves just because we can't do what others are doing. Let me tell you. Hakuna haja ya woye. By the way, if you are given some homes <laughs> that some men live in here and women, you go back to your house very fast. <laughs> so this self-pity does not help you. I'll be together. Number three, do not let your abundance or lack get into your mind and into your heart. 
You know, sometimes I look at intelligent people because I meet them. You are talking about church. You know, very intelligent people. One of the intelligent people we had had in this country is, is, uh, is uh, retired and dead president called Kebaki. You know, Kebaki continued calling out Kubafu. You, did you hear that? But he called out Kubafu sana. If you don't know, that man is one of the very, very intelligent people in this country we have had. Actually, that man was sharp. So every time you do something, I say, you ni Kubafu, who you ni Kubafu. And let me tell you what we are going sharp. Don't let your intellect or your sharpness get into your mind and in your heart. Please know that even those who are not as intellectual as you are still have a brain. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when we were schooling, the teachers were not severized that time. So you used to tell us, Ebu tingiza yo kijo yako? Sema kuna uji. Na tunasema, nini kondani ni uji? And let me tell you, to be very honest, and I'm not saying this with due respect to teachers, I don't think there is a teacher who goes to teach in primary who has an A. I have not had. I have not had. Maybe there are one or two. So this teacher who is telling you that my mind is a dad ahead, even they themselves had a D plus. Are we together? And then they keep telling me at the yo kichwa yako, ni uji kondani. Wacha. Don't let it, let it get into your head. Are we together? The fact that a child is struggling in your education does not mean that they are useless. Amen? Don't, don't, get, don't let that get into your head. No, they are ordinary human beings. Amen? No one here has three brains. We all have one. <laughs> exactly. So let it not get into our heads because... This may bring into you what you call self-confidence, like this man who says, what shall I do now? I'll sit back, take life easy, and enjoy life. Then he was told, you fool, tonight you are dying. So I know some of you here have, are PhD holders. You know when I get my PhD now, I'll rest, <laughs> relax, and take life? And I'm coming soon. Amen. <laughs> to that devil. But even when you get there, there are also other areas to go. So many amen. By the way, you go all the way to PhD and realize that there was nothing there. Amen. You go all the way to a five-bedroom sitter in a quarter of an acre in this estate. Ukimalizika unasema, now I should go to Runda. Now I should go to... Nuwapi kuingine kukona hype? Yeah? Wapi? Kitu suru, kitu suru. I'm a northern, hapa murimo. You know? In us, we need to learn to know that these things that God has given us should not come into our the head. Then finally, number four, don't pull strings with your lack or your abundance. Are we together? Because both lack and abundance have power. Let me give an example. There are people with abundance who manipulate other people. Especially if you are intelligent, you want to manipulate others with your mind. You, know, you want to ma manipulate others with your creativity. Creative. That one. Amen. Creativeness. He or two. And, and sometimes we have seen people in this country who are wealthy, but they manipulate others. By the way, all the people who told our citizens, Waweke sufuria kwa kichwa. They are all rich people. But they are manipulating people who are poor and struggling in this country. And you know that is happening in this country. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaendanga na gari yake anasimamisha hapo anachukua sufuri anaka kwa kichwa isipokuwa manipulative politicians. And these politicians have millions and millions of resources. Isn't it? They have a job already. Waedi bunge wanataka si tuende kwa barabara tukapigwe na tear gas. That is manipulating other people. Are we together? And not just abundance. Even luck can manipulate. Let me give you an example. <laughs> Those of us who have relatives who have nothing, you know very well how much they manipulate us by them not having anything. I, I can see you can, you can resonate with me. Because we have some relatives who don't work. Anataka asaidiwe, akiwekewa duka, ekahara. Anawekewa ngombe, zinakufa. Amina, shinakwa ni ngombe yake dunu yakufa. And sometimes, people who are beggars, let me use that as the long word, people who keep begging manipulate us in their begging. Are we together? 
And sometimes they have no enough. Even wonder, at what time will I stop giving you? At what time will I see you standing firm? And we have some relatives that we live with who their lack is manipulating other people who are. And sometimes they even abuse you. Mm. So I'm wondering, where are you going? I mean, if God is there, Exactly. And sometimes we have people who are all year. And the other day, we went to build a church in Masailand. And we built a nice church. And you know when we left there, we were given, all of us, shook us. I was even given uh, a, a goat. See a goat? Dopa. Can you imagine? But those people have mega resources, but in them, they can give out of the little that they have. Are we together? Those people in Masai Island are not in luck. Or they have not let their luck get into their, into their heads. Hallelujah. So God is calling us today to run away when we lack in what we call dependence syndrome. Only always wanting to borrow. And I know at one time, President Kebake had taken us to a level of supporting our GDP, 98%. And I know the guys in the West were not very excited. And that is how Raida came back and said he wants to be president. It was simply sponsored. Are we together? And we went into 207, 208 problems, and this country went down. We had gone up. Why? Because Wazungu, and they, are, they can hear me, all they want is to create dependence on Africans. And the other day I went to USA Embassy. And I said, 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 I I must I go to the USA? Must I? And you know, I looked at people who are the people who are before me were ten of them denied. Denied. What is happening? And because I was invited to go and give a talk, by the way, I was going to sell my intellect. Hallelujah. I was denied. I said, I will not apply again. I can be in this country and be dependent and be happy. So God can bless you in this country. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to end by saying this. It is possible for all of us seated here to get lost in our abundance and to get lost in our lack. Are we together? These two things should never overwhelm us. Not having does not mean that you are useless. Having a law does not mean you are so important. Are we together? You can get lost in this abundance. You can get lost in this lack. And listen to what Paul is saying. And I love this. The book of Philippians 4 and verses 12. You know many of us like verse 13. What does verse 13 say? Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things. This is the verse you like. Please read verse 12. Before you say, I can do all things, can you read what it is, verse 12 says? All of us? Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Can you see what that verse says? Before you say I can do all things, the things you are saying you can do are these ones. Munashikanisha. The things you are saying in verse 13, I can do all things, is that you can do, you, you can live in lack. So many amen. Bible. Bible says here, I know what is to be in. Where do you say your verse happen? I, I have learned to be in need. Amen. I've also learned to do what? To have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in every situation. Whether I am, Fed or? Verse 13 now comes in handy. Say it. What that verse says, you can be in abundance and be okay. You can also be in luck and? Hallelujah. Someone finished. I know time is over. So I want you to pray for yourself. Please have mercy upon me. Just whisper a prayer before God. Tell God I have struggled with luck. I have struggled with abundance. Help me, Lord, to do 
that which you have taught me today, to be content in every situation. Tell God I repent that lack has affected me, abundance has affected me. I ask that God you may come and help me, and I pray that you give me grace and strength to do all these things. Whisper a prayer to God. Tell him, I have been lost, I have been lost. Whisper to him this prayer, because the Lord wants to walk with you through this journey. Just whisper a prayer to God. The Lord is here. And once you finish your prayer, we can stand for the prayer and benediction. Once you finish praying, you stand, I pray for you, even as we offer benediction this morning. Dear God, our loving Father, you have walked with us through a journey of lost from within. And today, Lord, we are culminating this great theme. And at times, Lord, we may be lost in our abundance of many things that you've given to us. We may also be lost in lack of the things that we cry and moan every day about. Father, we pray that you give us wisdom for the sake of either journey of abundance or lack in this life, in whichever area. And Lord, you have heard the prayer of your servants as they have cried to you. Because many people, Lord, are seated here who have been mourning for days and years concerning what they don't have. Lord, people are here who are seated and in this congregation are watching us online, who are full of themselves because of the abundance of things that they have. Lord, we pray that you give us grace to have any of those with contentment. May your name be honored, O oh Lord, for this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, my dearly beloved in the Lord, I commend you to the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is both the owner of abundance and luck. I commend you to his hand that gives wisdom. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon all of you, and may he be gracious to you. And may the peace of God, the peace of God, the peace of God that passes all human understanding be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.